Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video and today we're going to be talking about the new Season 1 Pass Royale and how much value you actually get out of that $5 purchase. So I know I'm a bit late to the party, I'm sorry, but this is also probably applicable to Season 2 as well since the rewards are probably going to be very similar just with different emotes and tower skins and other limited time things that I can't get because I can't bring myself to spend a cent on this game because I've already made it to level 12 as a free to play player and I don't want to ruin that streak now. But yeah, so the analysis that we will do in this video today will hopefully be applicable for a while to come in helping you determine whether or not to spend your hard-earned money on this copied Fortnite mechanic. So let's get right into it. There are a lot of different types of rewards that you get from this pass, so it might be a bit hard to quantifiably assign a value to some of these, but we're going to try to do it anyway because that is just what we do on this channel. So let's just get the easy stuff out of the way first. Some of the rewards you get are just pure gold, and after you get 35 sets of 10 crowns or 350 crowns for those of you who like to do basic multiplication, you will get a total of 40,000 gold. <laughs> Almost halfway there to upgrading one of your cards one level higher. Congratulations. Now in terms of gems, you don't actually get any straight up gems, but you do get an emote which is typically sold in the shop for 250 gems and it's also limited time so you get that fancy rainbow border that you can flex on your opponents and that's gotta be worth something, right? Right? Ah, uh, whatever, let's just play on the safe side and put that emote at 250 gems of value. We also got the tower skin later down the road, which is definitely harder to quantify, but let's put that at 500 gems since it's a permanent cosmetic change as opposed to the emote, which only lasts for 3 seconds at a time. Then we have the cards that you'll get from the lightning chests along the way. You'll get a total guaranteed 672 commons, 153 rares, 72 epics, and 1 legendary. Yes, I did that all from memory. Also, you'll have like 6 strikes available, so chances are high that you'll actually get something you want for once, which has to increase the value at least a little bit. I'd essentially equate all of these cards with about 2.5 legendary king's chests. You would get a few more commons, rares, and legendaries from those chests, but you would get a few fewer epics. Since each Legendary King's chest costs 2,500 gems from the shop, that's essentially 6,250 gems worth of cards that you're getting from these Pass Royale rewards. Now, the Lightning Strikes that you get are definitely a bit better than the two options you have from the draft with the Legendary King's chest, but I'm just gonna say that the extra Legendaries you would get from the chest sort of evens that all out. So 6,250 gems it is. Finally, you're going to get the Trade Tokens, exactly one of each rarity. For this, I will equate each token with exactly half the price of buying a card stack of that same rarity in the shop. Since the result would be the same, you get the exact cards you want, but with a trade token, you also have to give up cards of your own, so that's why I'm cutting the price in half. Since you can buy a legendary for 40,000 gold in the shop, that means I would value the legendary trade token at 20,000 gold. The same way we can get that an epic token is 5,000 gold, a rare token is 2,500 gold, and a common token is equal to 1,250 gold. Coincidentally, these are the exact same prices that Clash Royale makes you pay if you're trading away a card that you already have maxed out. So this just further supports the fact that these values are pretty accurate. And that wraps up all the rewards you get. Just from $5 and 350 crowns, you'll be getting 68,750 gold and 7,000 gems worth of stuff. If you want an even more succinct number, you can just convert the gold to gems using the prices that they give in the shop, and we would get a grand total of 10,094 gems. If you wanted to just buy that directly from the shop, then you'd have to spend almost $80 depending on what packs you buy, which is 16 times the original value that you spent on the pass. Not only that, but I didn't even mention the fact that you get free retries for all of the challenges during this time, which means you can essentially get all of their rewards as long as you play them, which can add even more ridiculous value over time. Now, I only didn't factor these in because potentially, if you're really good, you could get all of the rewards in all of the challenges on your first try. But no one's that good, right? Maybe I just suck. I don't know. And also, you can't forget you get your beautiful, shiny, golden name to exert your dominance in the clan chat. And that's priceless. But that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. But that's all for today, guys. So see you later. Make the streams louder.